Hey, what is going on guys? My name is John and welcome to episode number 2 of the FIFA 13 career mod series with Call the Side Academy. So in today's episode I'm going to be playing all three games as the controller of the team instead of swimming through the matches. Just to give you guys an idea of what it would be like if I did use the team under my control instead of the computer's control. And the first game today is going to be a Capital One Cup match against Exeter City. It's going to be the first competitive game for the team. And you're going to laugh at all the players. If you look at all of them, every one of them are all bald. Every single player is all bald. That's pretty funny. So this is the first time I've ever done a career mode series where I'll be recording the gameplay. It won't be live because, as I, as I said before in previous times, trying to record live for me is impossible because I can never get it to sync up perfectly. And it always ends up being all horrible. And plus, um, live commentating for over a good hour and a half of gameplay it could be quite annoying. I know this is only 11 minutes long, but that's cutting it all down. And we're going to kick it off here by actually not doing very well here. As look at this. Stephen Barr makes a great save, and then Brooks just kind of just takes it, and touches it a couple of times, and then Gow just walks in and taps it in. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous. It's like one of those EA kind of things. It's like he takes a touch and just slides through his foot and Gow here's just going to take it. And I'm not even going to cut up this part here because in this same kind of segment there's going to be another goal. They score that quickly. As you can see here, it's going to throw it out. I think it is. I think they score it straight away. Oh no they don't. Yes, yeah, so they cut it up here. And then they're just going to go on another kind of attack here. Now I think this is another thing that annoys me. You think, alright, you've you've to have won that. No, he gets that and scores. Gow with the second goal of the game for the Exeter City. And it's looking pretty bad for Calder side as we are there waiting and we do not have the momentum. And we could be possibly going out of this cup. Two 0 down and it's just looking absolutely horrendous. And the team of Baldies. And then, well, this is unbelievable. Now keep an eye of that player that's just came on S Bennett. I'm gonna clear it up the pitch. They're gonna get the ball. Near here, here he is on the ball. He just runs right through the full defence, passes it to him, gets the ball again, and within a space of a few minutes, been on scores. I was absolutely raging when I re replayed the video back to see this actually happened. He just came on. So I thought, right, we need to start changing here and go on all counter attacking. Otherwise, we're going to get kicked out of this cup. And it starts off here. Good ball into David Hill. He's going to come in and he's going to blast it right into the top, right into the bottom left corner. And he's going to get us a glimmer of hope into this game. I don't know. We could get back into this game, but it'll be very, very difficult considering the time. But we have another chance here. Thomas Clark is going to try and run in, and he's not going to shoot. He's going to sweat it to Joshua, who's going to score. At 86 minutes, we could have a chance to get into this game. To come back and draw 3 3 and take it to extra time. We're going to go right down to the wire here. But no. We will be out of the Capital One Cup for this season. Which means. No silverware from this competition. So now we only have the championship and the FA Cup. So now we're going to quickly cut into the next game here, and you can see my amazing skilled move here. Then I just fucked up right there. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be against Millwall, and this is going to be the very first um, game of the season in the Empower Championship. Called us Academy versus Millwall. And this game is going to have loads of goals. I think quite a lot. There's over. I think there's at least eight or nine. As you can see here, the place is absolutely packed out. What an atmosphere we have today at Calderside Park. And to celebrate the great atmosphere in the new league, Robbie Morton's going to be clean through and goals and scores. 
right off of kickoff. Unbelievable. The fans are going absolutely crazy here. And Robbie Morton takes it to 1 0, within two minutes against Millwall. And he's going to start off his career mode in emphatic form here. Because he will not score one today, he will score many more. So, as we move over to the next segment in a couple of minutes, let's uh, decide to do it. Come on, Johnny. There we go. Dale Campbell is going to get the ball here and he's going to play for it to Robbie Morton. He's going to shoot, but the keeper saves it and he scores again. Two goals within 18 minutes. He's already going on for the hat trick and he will not stop. Believe me, he will go on and get more and more and more. I think it's going to be based on um, Dale Campbell and Robbie Morton as the striking force. They're, they're the ones that have to be providing the goals. But the likes of Joshua, who he'll be coming on throughout the season. Now, he's got the secret stats, if you remember, with his 99 finishing and 99 shot power. So at one point, we'll abuse that. And look at that. Three goals within 21 minutes. Robbie Morton is in form. Speaking of in forms, the other weekend there, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for Borussia Dortmund, his first ever game for them, and he goes and scores a hat-trick, which means today, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday when this gets uploaded, it'll be on the Tuesday, he will go and probably get an inform by EA, but look at this, Wright goes and scores in the 34th minute, and it's going to look, it's going to just start getting down and down and down from here. I thought, you know, 3 1 up, it's looking pretty good here. But no, Trotter, the Marquis, he just chests it past Stephen Barr and slides it into the corner. And, you know what, one thing that annoys me when I'm playing Ultimate Team is when you're like 6, I'm winning 6 now, then the other team goes and scores a goal, and then they celebrate as if they've got a chance of winning the game. The 89th minute they've scored and they're celebrating. I don't understand that. But anyway, back to career mode, and with 3-2 in, and 42nd minute, Feeney makes it 3-3. I thought, this is it. I'm playing on World Class, and I've not played World Class offline, I've played it online. And the difficulty is much more harder, because I need to get adjusted to playing offline kind of modes compared to the, the, the Ultimate Team one. So 43 minutes in and it's 3-3, a 6 goal thriller and it's not even half time yet. And yet we'll still get one more goal here before it ends. Dale Campbell is going to chest it here, take a touch and cross it in. And Robbie again, bullet header into the corner. Doing a nice little celebration with all the lads on the team. 4-3 before half time. Robbie Morton is on 4 goals. Which is amazing for one player, especially since it's one half, and it's not going to be the end of them. We're going into the second half here, Matthew's going to get the ball to Robbie, and Robbie's going to blast it into the corner, make it 5-3. Unbelievable, five goals in one game. Here he finesses it around the keeper. You do need to look twice at the scoreboard to just to be sure that it's 5-3 in our first game. And we're going to go right to the end here. Thomas Clark plays the ball into Dale Campbell. He's going to blast it first time and into the bottom left corner. Makes it 6-3. Nine goals in the first game of the championship this season. And that's going to be the end of the game here. 6-3 to us. It's going to be goals from Robbie Morton. Five goals and Dale Campbell was the last one in the 90th minute. So that's two games done. We lost the first game out, out of the Capital One Cup. But the first game of the season is going to see us take all three points. And in the second game we're going to be playing against Blackburn Rovers away to them on a Tuesday night. Without Robbie playing today, we've got Dale Campbell play, uh, Dean Clarkson playing. And look, right off the bat, you know, 24th minute, Thomas Clark is going to get his first goal for the team. Look at all the baldies clapping. Great play here to open up the Blackburn defence and a blast into the corner to beat Paul Robinson. And it's going to go 1-0 into half time I believe because we're going to, someone's going to score a special hat-trick in the second half. Ross Clark's going to get the ball here, he's going to play to Ian Clarkson, he's going to cross over and Joshua with a brilliant header into the corner. 
One of the good things about Josh is he's relatively tall, so any crosses that get into him is going to win them with a header. And the last goal in this game is going to be an absolute peach of a header for them. So as you're going to see here, we're going to kick off. And we're going to, first time ever, abuse the 99 shot power, 99 finishing from Joshua. As you can see here, David Hill with a brilliant header over to Ross Clark who does a lovely pass. And he blasts it right into the corner. And he does his little dance here. Oh, and he just shagged that other guy. That was quite awkward. As you see, he blasts it right into the bottom right hand corner. No hope for Paul Robinson to beat that. 3 0 up. It looking good. We're going to maybe have a clean sheet for once. His first clean sheet of the season. And now, this is a brilliant goal. David Hill to Ian Clarkson. The cross that he takes here is amazing. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. No, <laughs> wrong bat. No, it was. Is it this? No. Yes, because he, he runs all the way here and he gets the ball. And he's going to turn around and cross it right over and Ibrahimovic, what a header. You can't rate this kind of stuff. Unbelievable. Look at this for a cross. Right on top of his noggin. Right over Robinson. Game over, finishes 4 0. And that will end off this episode today of the Career Mode series. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a rating down below and a comment telling me which you prefer sim or games played. And I'm just going to show you the TV wheel here. So I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Johnny. And I'll see you guys later.